Hey guys, welcome back to Think Making. I'm Anton, and today I'll be reviewing this PLA filament by Meltink. So let's get to it. PLA isn't known for its heat resistance, strength, nor flexibility. Instead, it's known for being one of the easiest materials to print with while maintaining a good print quality. Yet, was this the case? Melting is a company based in the US. Their PLA filament comes in this box, which in the front only has a huge sticker with their logo, while one of the sides has a label indicating that type of filament inside along with a cutout through which you can see the filament itself. Inside the box, there's nothing besides the filament, which as usual comes in a sealed bag. Regarding the spool, it has only two locations where you can fold the filament in place. It's also completely black and has no openings to see how low on filament you are, which is why I prefer clear spools. The filament itself is perfectly smooth and has a consistent diameter, but as you can see, it breaks quite easily when bent. But enough of that, you want to know how it prints. So I went ahead and did several tests. Printing with an E3D V6 at a 0.2 layer height, I found 190 degrees to be a great printing temperature. Yet, this may vary for you. As usual, I printed a calibration cube, a 3D Benchy, and a Marvin, along with other designs I considered would look cool with this filament. The first thing I learned the hard way is that this filament warps, which leads me to think that it might actually be mixed with something else. My first prints all failed due to the nozzle hit a warped edge hard enough for the motor to skip some steps. All my next prints used brim to prevent warping, at least in the lower layers. This worked and is easily removable. The same applies to support structures. The calibration cube turned out perfectly, with any inconsistencies being inside the margin of error. The corners and letters were well defined. It's simply a great print. Yet, the Marvin and the 3D Benchy reveal where this filament struggles. All the curves and other smooth areas look perfect, overhangs look awful. By observing it while printing, I determined that this is mainly due to the fact that it warps. Don't worry about bridging, it actually does quite a good job at it. Knowing this, I went ahead and printed stuff with almost no overhangs. First up is this Dragon Keychain that doubles as a smartphone stand. It's functional and printed very nicely with no errors. The same goes to this Mayan inspired pendant, which I printed for my mom. Finally, I printed this vase using vase mode. Due to the filament's consistency, it looks smooth and perfect. And then, something blew my mind. When I moved it in front of my TV, it shifted colors. I have no idea why this happened, but the effect looks so cool. And it even works with the brim. So you can see this filament might not be great for prints with lots of overhangs. Yet for less detailed prints with smooth or curvy surfaces, this filament should be no problem. Just remember to use brim. In case you want to try a roll for yourself, I'll be dropping an Amazon link down in the description along with all the designs featured in this video. As always guys, feel free to support my channel through Patreon or by buying a cool t-shirt like this one in my merch store. If you found the video helpful, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Again, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.